everybody, it's Katrina from Paracord Planet and today I'm going to show you how to make this herringbone stitched cobra bracelet. What you're gonna need is a cobra bracelet and if you don't know how to make one, we'll link a tutorial down below. Some micro cord and a micro cord fit, which I've already connected on here. A lighter and a scissor, which will also double as your smoothing tool. So to start, what you're gonna wanna do is flip your bracelet over so it's upside down. And on the first hump, you're gonna weave through there and leave a little bit extra on the back, which we'll use to secure it later. And then you can flip your bracelet over. And every single hump on the bracelet, you're gonna end up going through. So you're gonna start with the first one and just go down through there. And then you're gonna come back and go underneath that stitch. And then just make sure it's pulled tight. I like to pull down on it because if you pull backwards to make it tight, then it's gonna make a weird loop afterwards. So the next stitch you're gonna do is you're going to come back through to make this circle loop and you're going to go back underneath the cord you just went down through and then just make sure that you're always under this stitch because then it will lay flat. And there's the first stitch that you have. So then we're going to go to the next hump so we're going to go down through there and then back underneath the stitch we just made. And then you're gonna come back up through that same hump and make sure you're staying underneath this strand. And there's your second one. And then you're just going to continue doing that the entire way down the bracelet or however far however far you want to have the design go. And it, it's a little bit tedious but it gets a little faster the further down the bracelet you go. So you have a little bit less cord and then you're so a little bit better at doing it. So I'll finish this last weave here. And then just to save time, I'm going to finish this off camera. I'm gonna go the whole length of the bracelet. And then when I get back, I'll show you how to end it. So now that we're at the final stitch, I'm going to go into the final hump over here where I had melted the cord. And you can certainly wait to melt the cord until after you're done and melt them together if you want to do that. Um, and then I'm going to go to the back and I am just going to weave it through one time just to help it out a little bit to grab a little of the bracelet and melt to it. And then you don't want to clip it quite as close as you would for 550 cord because you want it to have a little something that it can melt onto the bracelet with. And this melts very fast, and very quick, so you shouldn't have to do too much. There you go. All right, so there you have it, your herringbone stitched cobra bracelet. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, you can place them down below. Otherwise, we'll see you next time.